We're doing the more I think we can beat him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's go shock the world. Holy Knights of Columbus! A 16 beats a 1! We heard you say in the locker room, the more I watch Purdue, the more I think he can beat this team. We just shocked the world. Go shock the world. Go shock the world. Go shock the world. It was indeed a night to remember for the Knights of FDU. We are happy to be joined now by their head coach, Tobin Anderson, who wasn't as shocked as everyone else by this outcome, but you had to be so... How long did it take you to come down, and, and what happened after this happened? I mean, it was a whirlwind, obviously. I mean, just the... Uh, it was a, I, was, I was still shocked. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I was definitely shocked, and, and just to be able to compete and be in the game for the whole way through and, and to win, it was was incredible and so yeah it took me a few hours. I'm still I got a thousand text messages I have to, I have to return it's it's just been a, <laughs> a crazy night and and um, we'll get to I'll get to all you people in a few, in a few weeks but it's gonna take a while but it was uh, a lot of fun and we're enjoying it and you know like this tournament we, we gotta move on to the next round obviously but it was, it was a an incredible achievement for our team and our program well coach first of all congratulations and don't worry about texting those thousand people back they know you're busy yeah Chuck never even right. checked his voicemail I don't I haven't checked <laughs> not since 1987 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Coach, so it was interesting watching you after the game sit in the stands watching the next game the other night. I know you were you said you were confident y'all were going to win, but you didn't know who was going to win the next game. Obviously, yeah. was you? Was, did, it looked like you were scrambling over there talking to your assistants, like you take Memphis, you take Florida Atlantic. Like, tell us about that process. Yeah, so we divided up, uh, Charles. You know, one one guy's got one team, somebody else got the other team. I like. I'm a small college coach. My dad was a high school coach, so I'm used. I love to see teams in person. It helps me as far as scouting goes. So I was I was excited to actually watch the game in person and kind of get a feel for for both teams. And like, you know, you can't really you know root for one team or hope to play one team. You're just kind of prepared for either one of those teams, and they're both great teams. And obviously, we got Florida Atlantic now, who is a, is an incredible story themselves, winning 30 games and in a top 25 team. So. Um, yeah, it was just fun to watch the game in person, especially after a win. I mean, that's the best part. The best part is you win. You get a chance to sit back and at least you know you're advancing. Otherwise, you're on, you're on a plane home. So it was good to be there and have a, have a, have a victory and enjoy the, enjoy the game. Coach, we talked to you and Sean Moore the other night after the brackets came out. You guys were absolutely outstanding. How was Sean able to slow down the probable national player of the year in Zach Eady? Well, you know, the good thing was Zach was guarding Sean. And so, you know, we obviously uh, Zach's a big time mismatch problem for us because he's so big and he's so so strong and he's so skilled. But then he's got to guard one of our guys. So he, they put him on Sean, and Sean is a, uh, a you know is, is a good offensive player becoming even better. He hit that three at the top of the key. I, I didn't think we had a chance to win really until that he hit that three about a minute to go, top of the key three. And I'm like, this might actually happen. This is this could be reality <laughs> right here. He hit that three, and um, yeah, we just it was a group effort, the team effort. I mean, that that kid, he's, he's terrific and we have so much respect for Purdue and how they play and how they do things but our guys really dug in and made it tough on him and he scored 21 points but it was it was not an easy 21. Coach Anderson congratulations after the win in Dayton there's a video that went fairly viral and there was a confidence with you and your staff in regards to how you might have what is it that you saw in the matchup with Purdue that gave you the confidence to think that you guys could beat them. Yeah, well, I think styles are so important, yep. right? Your style compared to other styles. And, and uh, you know, the Big Ten is, for the most part, a, a pretty um, – they all play a similar style. They're all half-court, powerful, strong, physical. We don't have those kind of players. So we play more up-tempo. We're going we're gonna to press. We're going to make the game fast, uh, make you play uncomfortable. And so I, I thought our style could cause their, them a lot of problems. I didn't, I didn't mean Clark for that to go viral. I did not. That was a, that was a lot. That was a locker room speech. That I wish was just behind the, the cameras weren't there. So it didn't go as well as I wanted it to. But we did believe, and you got to get your guys to believe. And you're, when you're a 16 seed, they have to believe you can win the next game. And so um, we did believe, and we, um, and I think our style caused them a whole lot of problems. And we played, we, and we played about as well as we can play. And, and um, it was a special night for all of us we were, you know, sure we gotta go, now we got to go on and play again tomorrow hey coach as we said last night it's you're just one of the stories that makes this tournament great thank you so much and congratulations to you thanks for taking the time to join us good luck of, of course guys i really appreciate it thanks a lot